Ladies and gentlemen, it is the commercial pilot back with episode number five of Minecraft Quick Tutorials. Now, I've thought long and hard, long and hard about what to do today uh, for my quick tutorial video, and I decided to talk about potions. Yes, potions. There are potions in Minecraft. And they can be, they can be very, very useful. So here we are with potions. So, to po potions are not very easy to make. Uh, first, you have to go down to the Nether, and I think I might talk about the Nether uh, in my next video. But you have to go down to the Nether. You have to make a portal. You have to find a nether fortress, and a nether fortress will have blazes in it, and what a blaze will do, if you kill a blaze, it will drop a blaze rod. That's what a blaze drops when it dies, a blaze rod. And you can use this blaze rod to craft this right here, a brewing stand, and this is how you do it. One blaze rod and three cobblestone in your crafting area, and you get a brewing stand. And you place it, this is what it looks like. And you use this to make potions. Here's a funny story. When I, uh, when I first heard about, uh, about brewing stands, uh, when I first saw them, I thought they were for making coffee. I'm serious. No joke. Back when I was, uh, was what you could call a noob, uh, I thought brewing stands were to make coffee. Uh, but they're not. They're used to make potions. There is no coffee in Minecraft. But, uh, I know some people that would actually like coffee to be in Minecraft. So, this is how you make potions. And, this is probably the reason why I clicked on this video. This is how you make it. You need glass bottles. So, you need these things right here. And remember how I talked about the bowl in the last episode. Well, glass bottles are crafted the same way as a bowl, but instead of wood in that arrangement, it would be um, uh, it'd be glass, glass blocks. So now I have my empty glass bottle, and what I can do with my empty glass bottle is I can right-click the empty glass bottle in water, and it will give me water bottles. So that's how you get water bottles. And you can even drink water bottles, like so. I'm in creative mode, so I can just drink as many as they want. They don't go down, but you can drink water bottles, but they don't do you any good. There's no thirst in this game. Uh, bottles, they don't... You can drink them, but they don't do you any good. Um, but a more useful purpose with them is to use them in potion making. So here's how you do it. Right click on your brewing stand, it's going to give you this. Put one water bottle in here, one in here, and one in here. And there it's going to show you, like, there are bottles in here waiting to be brewed with, <laughs> I guess. But it's just going to sit in the brewing stand and it's not going to be doing anything. You have to put something up here. And what that something would be is nether wart. You can put nether wart in this little box right here, and it's going to fi you get this little fizzle animation right here, and it will make, uh, and it's brewing. I have particles turned off, but uh, uh, but there would be a little smoke here if you did have uh, particles on. And okay. Color doesn't change, and it's just going to give you awkward potion, awkward potion, awkward per potion. And that doesn't have any effect. I can just drink an awkward potion and nothing will happen to me. But, what I can do, is I can make this awkward potion into something else. Uh, let's say a potion of strength. And each potion, you can make many different kinds of potions. You can make potions of... Uh, strength, uh, uh, swiftness, regeneration, poison, uh, harming, potions of harming, potions of, uh, of, um, 
uh, uh, what was it, uh, potions of instant health, etc. You can make many different kinds of potions, but for this demonstration, uh oh, yeah, I just broke that. Oh, no. Alright, well, we'll just put another brewing stand in there. Okay. Let's just put my awkward potions back in there. Okay, pretend that never happened. Let's make sure they're all awkward potions. And yes, they are. Pretend that never happened. Uh, broke the brewing stand by accident. So, there are many different kinds of potions. And for ex for this example, I'm just going to make one. I'm just going to make a potion of strength. And with and I can make a potion of strength using this ingredient right here. <clears throat> blaze powder, excuse me. And you can get blaze powder by crafting by crafting it. Just put a blaze rod in your crafting inventory and you get the blaze powder. So let's use the blaze powder powder and I can put it in here and it's gonna get this little fizzly thing that we saw before. And <laughs> I won't be doing that. It's just gonna come down right here, the little arrow. And here we go, we have potions of strength for three minutes. Okay, now I have three potions of strength. And what a potion of strength will do is it will hit harder on my enemies uh, than as opposed to uh, if I were just hit them normally without any potion effects. So if, if I were to chug this down, potion of strength, and right here in my inventory it will show you all the potion effects It will be listed down here. Right now I have strength. And let's go kill a chicken. I saw one over here. Where are they? It's like winged things that can't even fly. Oh, I just saw. Oh, here he is. Uh, for a second, I thought he had a logo on his back. One hit, one kill. That's because of the potion of strength. Maybe it was just because they had a diamond sword as well. I don't think diamond swords do four points of damage. I think they do like three and a half or something. So anyway, that's what a potion of strength does. It just makes you hit harder. Uh, it makes you hit harder with anything, with your fist, with whatever you have to have in your hand. So that's how you make a potion of strength, but... That was only for three minutes. It's already halfway gone. I want more! I want more. I want it to last longer. Well, not to fear. Because I can just plop these guys right in here. I can just plop these potions of strength right in here. And what I can do is I can take some redstone. And what redstone will do is so if I put it in here, these are potions of strength, and in parentheses is the time, so that's three minutes. I'm actually pointing to it, uh, like you can see that in real life, I'm actually pointing to it. Uh, but it's three minutes, as you can see in the parentheses. What this redstone will do is it's... Oh, it's... Okay, I got better with commands. Oh, wrong thing. Alright, so now that was three minutes, but now it's up to eight minutes. Yes. Yes. Oh, my, I almost broke that. But So now instead of three minutes, it's up to eight minutes. And I open up this chest and I see one piece of glowstone. And what this glowstone will do is it will increase the potency of my potion. So it can increase this to, I can use this glowstone dust. It's dust, not, don't use a glowstone block, it won't work. It's just the glowstone dust. And... Okay, here we go. 
So we have potions of strength two, which means that I'm going to hit even harder, about twice as hard, but it's down to a minute 30. So you can't really have both the potency and the time. You kind of have to pick one over the other. So I can have potions, I can have better quality potions for a short period of time, or I can have uh, worse quality potions for a longer period of time. So, it decreases the, uh, decreases the, um, uh, uh, duration, but, um, it increases the potency of my potions. So that's about it for potion, uh, brewing. Potions are not renewable. Uh, you, I was in creative mode, so I get the potion back once I drink it. But say you were in survival mode, and you drink a potion, you won't get the potion back. You'll just get a glass bottle, and you'd have to refill it with water, and then put it under some nether wart, and put it under, um, uh, give it whatever ingredient you want. Now, nether wart can be farmed. If I take out some soul sand, soul sand is another thing that you'll find in the nether, and I'll go to the nether and talk about this uh, next episode, I think. And I have this brownish stuff right here. It's got these little creepy faces in it, if you can see that. This is called soul sand. And I can farm nether wart on this soul sand. And it ha you can't use bone meal on this, I don't think. I think you can. Uh, but you can farm nether wart, it'll have three stages of life. So nether wart is renewable, it's just that some of the ingredients are not. Um, so yeah. So yeah, that's just about it. That's just about it for this week's... Uh, <laughs> well, this, it's not this week's edition, I don't have a weekly schedule, but... That's it for this episode of Minecraft Crypt Tutorials. I am lacking civilization. I'm going to make a civilization tomorrow. Tomorrow's a good day uh, for recording, simply because I am off of school. Today's Sunday. Tomorrow will be Monday, and I'm off of school because it's Memorial Day. So, yeah. All right. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I started a... Right. Have a new video. Uh, uh, I made a... Started a new series. Uh, in honor of MC Michael 46 who I have a subscribe to. He is one of my subscribers. I am one of his his subscribers. Uh, MC Michael 46 he suggested that I do... Was that lightning? That was weird. He suggested that I do a Minecraft Let's Play series, so I did. That's in honor of him. Thank you, MC Michael 46 But uh, until the next video, I just wanted to say so long.